what's going on guys welcome back to the channel a big thank you for coming back and checking out another one of my videos right here on youtube recently i have delved into the world of tactic testing and i've been downloading some of the weird and the wonderful tactics that are available for fm23 i've been putting them through some single season sims to see how they have been getting on in today's video i've got another full power tactic test and that means we're putting this tactic in the hands of manchester city real madrid and paris saint germain to see just how good this this tactic can be now as always we're going to show you the tactic and the positions we're going to show you the in possession the out of possession and the in transition and we're going to break down those all important results we're already on manchester city's page so let's go over to their tactics tab you can see that this tactic is called something uh somebody's going to need to translate this for me i can tell you that when you download the file it will be called cr7 pp uh i'm not great with foreign languages i will be honest so if anybody does want to translate it you can feel free to do so in the comment section down below but we're going to break this tactic down it's a bit of a 4141 so a different shape to what we've seen on some of the previous tactics be interesting to see how it works especially with a poacher at the top of the pitch but let's break these positions down so starting at the back you're going to have a sweeper keeper who is set to support on the left you've got a complete wing back on attack you have two ball playing defenders one on the left one on the right and on the right hand side you have a complete back on attack in the middle you have a defensive midfielder on support on the left hand side you have an inside forward on attack you have two attacking midfielders both set to support and on the right hand side you have an inside forward set to attack at the top of the pitch you have a poacher who will be set up to attack so as i said it's quite a nice setup a 4141 it's pretty symmetrical you've got uh, some interesting positions in there um it's tactical style again i can't possibly tell you what it is um if somebody wants to translate that for me as well comment section for that uh, its mentality though is attacking and then it's in possession will look like this it's in transition will look like this and it's out of possession will look like this now i believe i downloaded this tactic from possibly fm arena or fm base looking at the performance of the tactic in a tactics table it seems to do quite well despite the fact that i don't actually know what the tactical style is but we've set it up we've got manchester city first let's have a look at the competitions tab and we can see manchester city have won the premier league by 11 points they have reached the final of the champions league and finished as runners up they have won the fa cup they have also won the carabao cup and they have won the community shield so they have managed to win four trophies in a single season they were one game away from having the perfect season let's start off by breaking down the community shield so they beat liverpool 3-1 in the first game of the season in the carabao cup they got to the final they beat everton 4-2 in the final of that in the fa cup they beat Liverpool 4-2 in that. Lots of high-scoring games here for Manchester City. In the Champions League, they got to the final and lost 5-2 to Napoli. And in the Premier League, let's have a little breakdown of everything that's happened there. So, Manchester City played 38 games. They won 29. They drew 6. They lost 3. Scoring 136. Conceding 49, giving them an 87-goal difference and amassing 93 points they finished 11 ahead of liverpool and quite clear of the rest of the table shout out in this one goes to everton who have somehow managed to get their way into european uh, conference league position with 58 points in seventh place if we go to the profile tab we can see erling Haaland scored 54 goals he had a 7.94 average rating cole walker getting a 7.33 average rating we had bernardo silver on 15 assists kevin de bruyne got 13 Haaland got 12 player of the match awards now this one does have a few disciplinary issues by the look of this 16 yellow cards for Cancelo 15 for Walker and 14 for Rodri and there is nothing else at the bottom so what a fantastic way to kick off the tactic test uh, Manchester City one game away just Napoli stood in their way from a perfect season they have won a domestic treble call it a quad if you want to add on the community shield and they almost almost got the champions league too let's switch over to psg 
and you can see they have won the league of course they have too if you go into the competitions tab we can see that they have won the league by an impressive 21 points they were knocked out in the champions league by napoli eventual winners in that they won the Coupe de France and they won the Trophy des Champions. So let's have a look. They won 2 1 in the Trophy des Champions. Uh, in the Coupe de France, they won 3 2 against Marseille in the final. A uh, thrilling final that must have been. Uh, knocked out by Napoli. So let's break down Liga 1 Uber Eats. If we go to the stages tab, we can see that they played 38 games. They won 31 of them. They drew 3. They lost 4. They scored a whopping 146 goals. They conceded 35, giving them a goal difference of 111, amassing 96 points. We go into the profile page. We can see that Mbappe got 36, Neymar got 25 goals. Uh, Neymar got 7.87 average rating, Mbappe 7.86, Sarabia 7.65 and Soler 7.63. They had Neymar getting 25 assists so he got 25 assists and 25 goals so 50 goal involvements for Neymar is impressive uh, Sole with 18 assists and Sarabia with 15 Bappe got eight player of the match awards and Sarabia with seven Don Roma kept 14 clean sheets and Hakimi getting 22 yellow cards geez tell the man to stay off the tackles uh, Ramos doing his usual getting 13 yellow cards in the league so once again we have got a team that has got a domestic double treble if you count the trophy des champions so lots and lots of trophies won already and now we're going to go and have a look at what Real Madrid have done and they have destroyed La Liga that is the most points I believe I've seen Real Madrid get in any single tactic test maybe we have unearthed a gem in a tactic where we don't even know what the tactical style is if we go to the competitions tab you can see that they have demolished the league they have won by 26 points from Atletico Madrid. Barca have got 73. But they were knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Champions League by Manchester City. They finished runner-up in the Super Cups. So they didn't even beat Frankfurt in that. They did win the Copa del Rey and they won the Super Copa de España. So breaking that down, they beat Valencia 3-0 in the Super Copa. In the Copa del Rey, they beat Barcelona 2-0 in the final there. In the Super Cup, let's see what happened there. They lost 3-2 to Frankfurt in that one. Knocked out by Manchester City. So let's break down the Liga Santander and have a look at their league campaign. And you've already seen just... They played 38 games. They won 34. They drew three. They only lost one game to Barcelona by one goal to nil. Scoring 143 goals. Conceding 36. Had a goal difference of 107. 105 points. Centurions and then some we go back to the profile screen then Benzema got himself 32 goals Eden Hazard coming back to life 21 goals in the Liga for him Vinny Jr 7.55 Benzema 7.52 Valverde 7.51 and Hazard 7.48 in terms of average ratings they topped the charts for all four positions in the assists with Modric on 13, Valverde on 13, Vinny Jr. on 12 and Rodrigo on 10. Player of the match awards, 6 for Vinny Jr., 6 for Eden Hazard. 15 clean sheets for Courtois, 14 yellow cards for Mendy. Uh, Audrey Rizzola got 15.48 uh, kilometres covered per 90 minutes. So really, really impressive results with this one. We have pretty much got winners of everything apart from the champions league uh manchester city winning four trophies psg winning three trophies and real madrid winning three trophies despite losing out in the super cup means that it's been absolutely fantastic records points hauls in terms of some but certainly real madrid uh, goals that were scored by everybody was just fantastic this really could be an underestimated tactic and if you want to try it don't forget to check in the description down below right if you are with me at this point of the video firstly a big thank you secondly if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel out i really really would appreciate it all the support i've had across the past couple of months has been fantastic watching the channel grow has been really really impressive and if you don't mind continuing that help i really really would appreciate it before you go don't forget to check out the rest of the channel there are other tactic videos there are hints tips wonder kids rebuilds let's plays a little bit of something for everybody right here on the channel for this one though i'm going to wrap it up there i'll see you on another video soon